summer's here and the sun is getting very bright so make sure you're protecting your skin against something like this but we want to also make sure that you're aware that there's something much more serious out there and that is sun poisoning sunburns are almost a mild form of sun poisoning they're limited in terms of how big of an area they cover, but if you end up getting a sunburn over a large part of your body surface area, that can become a medical emergency. And that means you may want to seek health care if you are experiencing severe chills, unable to take in water or keep hydrated, if you're having a lot of pain, or if you're starting to get a lot of swelling. One of the most important things to do if you do have sun poisoning or severe sunburn is to take in lots of water and electrolytes such as Gatorade so that you're rehydrating your body and making up for everything that you're going to lose through the burn on the surface of the skin. Secondly, you may want to take an anti-inflammatory medication such as Advil or ibuprofen and you want to apply something soothing to the skin such as aloe vera and make sure that you're keeping cool compresses on the skin. While we might not think much of a sunburn such as this, each and every time you get a sunburn, you're setting the stage for skin cancer in the future. And that's because while some of these cells are going to die and flake off, others are actually just going to recover from the sunburn and they're going to have genetic mutations at that point. And those over time, especially with repeated sunburns, can then develop into a skin cancer.